Hello, we've got some great summer savings going on right now at Solmart.me. For instance, how about Bernadette Morgan with the Vagina Rebound? If you're a lady on your way to have a relationship, this is a reading that will coach you back to where you want to be. Maybe you're shy and don't want to talk to your practitioner. How about DJ David Palmer? He'll make a custom 20 minute MP3 on your chart. Or after the 4th of July, we're happy to announce Act 3 videos are available for immediate download. All that at soulmart.me. Hello, Your Royal Majesty, and welcome back to Soul Horoscopes Weekly Edition. I'm your host of the universe, Christopher Watecki. And I'd like to personally invite you to come on down to soulgarden.me. We are doing a new initiative by the end of the year. Our goal, by the time the shift hits the fan in December, is to have the biggest group of lightworkers on the internet and the largest lightworker marketplace with soulmart.me. So we are officially casting. We are casting. If you're interested in being on camera, if you live in the LA area, or if you're already on camera and posting videos and you want to come under our distribution and, and work with us, if you have product for Soulmart, if you make jewelry that's spiritual, we want to hear from you. It is time to grow. It's time to get ready for the rumble that will happen in the fall. That's casting at soulgarden.me. Come join the crowd. And if you are a leader wannabe, come hang out with your fellow future leaders. We'll help you any way you need to. Now, we're doing a lot of work this particular month. We're doing emotional work and we're doing subconscious weeding if we're a Leo. Now, there's always two states of awareness you're working on, so the whole world is working on their emotions with the sun and cancer. Leos, therefore, work on their subconscious currents. Now, last week we were talking about dismissing what doesn't work subconsciously. So it's stepping away from old self-tabotaging patterns. It's stepping away from weed. Uh, weeds, these are the issues that wrap themselves around our flowers, choke us to death. It's the codependency, it's the drug abuse, it's the being with the abusive person, it's being the abusive person in the relationship. All this crap that goes back to childhood, these are called weeds in our soul garden. So once a year, we weed our soul garden. For Leos, the weeds are directly proportionate to the emotional stability. So a crazy Leo is one with an unweeded garden. A sane Leo is one with a nice clean cut inner garden where you are managing each weed as it comes and you are emotionally nurturing it out of your consciousness. Last week we were getting rid of the weeds or identifying the weeds. This week we're going to identify actually where we want to plant flowers. Flowers are the subconscious opposite of a weed in the sense this is inner faith. Flowers in your subconscious is something you've been good at since you were born, and therefore you're going to be fine through the future. Faith. Faith is based on spiritual knowledge and wisdom from our past lives. It's based on connecting to our psychic awareness and having the thumbs up from our guides. And it's about, in your case, managing your emotions to not go into chaos every time something doesn't look right in reality, which means you have to rely on what? Faith. That it'll work out because it always does. So on Monday, we're looking for integrity. Chiron rules the day, and that means the universe is saying, Saying, hey, what has integrity, what doesn't? And so if you have not found inner integrity with at least identifying the weeds or identifying the boogeyman in your closet, uh, Monday could suck. Could be a day where things are very frightening. Now if that's the case, why, why is the, is the question? The moon on this day is in Sagittarius, so your emotions are with inner child, inner princess, which is super good. Why? Because that is the purity of Leo. A Leo is an inner child pretending to be an adult. Okay, so by being in touch with your inner child, you're actually in touch with your purity on Monday. So if you're not feeling good on Monday, it's one of two things. One, something subconscious is still bugging you, you didn't face the weed. Two, you're not managing your emotions, which means you've got to be a big girl or a big boy and make the prince happy or make the princess happy. That is the Monday lesson. On Tuesday, boom, full moon, and the universe wastes no time to get to business. A full moon will make you extremely hyper aware of your reality. So this is a day and this is a 36 hour period where because the moon is full, full of motion, uh, you're going to feel every bump in the road, feel every bump on your skin, feel every bump in your health, your lifestyle, etc. It is emotionally highlighting your life basically for you to have a bit of a barometer as to where inner faith needs to point. Now the first part of the transit on Tuesday is the moon crosses over Pluto. So what that means is we've got to release. Release baggage of when things didn't work, release baggage from past illnesses, release baggage from lifestyles that didn't work. Let it go, let it flow, 
quit judging yourself. We're talking Capricorn. Let it all go as far as what hasn't worked in your life. If your life is a total hot mess, fine, let it go. Okay? We're not going to get anywhere if we hold on to that lower vibration. Then the moon moves into direct opposition with the sun. At this point, it's a tug of war between what? The emotional realities of life and your overall faith and philosophies of emotion. So if you're super miserable on the full moon, there's one of two things happening. On the one hand, maybe you don't do crap to manage your emotions and so you're a wreck. So you're not handling your cancer energy. Or maybe you don't do anything to face your boogeyman and face your fears and pull your weeds and so your life feels like a wreck. Either way, if it feels like a big enough of a wreck, maybe you'll do the soul work, it says the opposition, and that's what a full moon really is. So Jupiter rules the day on Tuesday saying, hey, there's other options. And if you're feeling like a wreck, Look for the other options. On Wednesday, it's July 4th, 4th of July. Happy birthday to the United States. If you don't know, the United States is a Cancer with a Sagittarius rising and an Aquarius moon. Interesting chart. Good talk for a new show I have coming up. But it is also a day of breakdown. Uranus rules a day. So we're going to be breaking down in the United States. If you live in Europe, you'll be breaking down too. But the experience will probably be different. Because we have to save face at barbecues and with sparklers in our hands, we're probably going to have very private breakdowns in the United States between us and God Universe, which is kind of interesting. Either way, the universe is trying to show you where ye lack your inner faith. Now, maybe you will actually have a whole barbecue with your family, and the breakdown will be like, oh my God, I'm not crazy, they are. Whoa, breakthrough, right? So it could happen from observation. It could happen from not going to 4th of July with anyone and then feeling miserable. It doesn't really matter. The point is, is... Where are you mismanaging your emotions? Where are you uh, maybe not or ignoring interfaith issues, like ignoring the elephant in the room? Uh, That is really the breakdown. Or perhaps you'll have breakthrough, because it can go either way in chapter two, and the breakthrough might be, hey, this is where I need to start off emotionally, or hey, I'm done with this. I'm gonna kill this weed. I'm done, I'm ready, it's dead, it's out of my system. Either way, that is really the 4th of July. Now, uh, on Thursday, it's a cloudy day, but it's a huge breakthrough day. For one, the moon moves into Aquarius. So emotions for you are sentimental. It's a sunny and sentimental day with the moon in Aquarius. But the moon triggers a temporary soul pyramid in air. Air is intellect. So we're all going to have an emotional intellectual clarity on Thursday that helps us move on. In your case, the emotional intellectual care uh, comes in three places. On the one hand, there is emotions in Aquarius, which is what you feel is balanced and good in relationships, how you relate to yourself and how you relate to others. So you're mostly very relationship focused on Thursday. However, it trines over to Mars in Libra and over to Jupiter and Venus conjunct in Gemini. What that means is on this particular day of Thursday, Leo's are starting to feel the pressure to move ahead with positive thinking. Mars and Libra says, enough is enough, your majesty. Cut out the crappy thoughts, just think positive. If you don't think positive, shame on you. And Mars will shame you, and you'll shame yourself with Mars in the third house, where you spit out crap and look like an idiot all the time. Mars is going to basically aggravate your intellectual attitude karma until the fall. Severely aggravate, severely inflame. So you're a loose cannon with the tongue if you don't uh, watch yourself. But what really it's about, come on, you know how to think and talk. Let's just do it, okay? The other side is Venus-Jupiter, which is as you feel what's fair, balance, moon and Aquarius, as you move forward with the right attitude, <gasps> opportunity opens up in society, friendship, and where you feel you belong, okay? So you begin to see your place in the world as you feel fairness and move forward with a good attitude. And that is the secret of Thursday. And what does it lead to? Well, you figuring out how to have faith in yourself. Maybe you needed this physical world evidence to have the faith or face the weed. But Thursday reveals the truth. Then we're to Friday. Friday is actually a great day. It's ruled by Venus. Venus means, hey, God's going to give us a free space to restore uh, restore balance and order. This is one of those days when Venus rules the day, you can't help but just feel good. And if you don't feel good, why the hell not? That's really the question. Uh, for you going with a subconscious weeding transit, if you do feel good, if life is good, look around. Why? What's different when you woke up today? What well, was your approach that was different? How are you managing your emotions differently? Those are the questions for Friday. Why you are at peace or why you're not at peace, okay? But peace really is the agenda. The moon is still in Aquarius, so it's a great lovey-dovey day with sentimental people. It's a great lovey-dovey day with LTRs, long-term relationships. You're gonna be feeling sentimental. And I wanna point out that this trine between the Mars in Libra over to Jupiter Venus is gonna be in effect for a long time. The grand trine went away, 
but this trine stays in effect, which means, Your Majesty, the universe is going to be on you to have the right attitude with Mars. And as you do, you will see opportunity in society open. As you take opportunity in society, you will see new attitude blossom. As you go forward with the new attitude, you will see new opportunity in society. This ping pong is in your favor until further notice. I'll let you know when it starts to break apart. So go forward as you, as you should, child. Now, I do want to point out, I got a little show coming out called Unite the Light. I'm going to take one of these office hours blocks. Everyone's got one but me. So I'm doing Fridays at 12 o'clock, but I'm not going to talk about astrology. I'm not going to talk about or read people's charts. I'm going to talk about what we need to do to unite the light. There's a lot of things changing. Barack Obama health care, lots of funny things, you know, giving, uh, giving amnesty to young immigrant children. There's changes going on. We should talk about it. Come on down at 12 noon. There's a chat room. It's a time to get together. It's kind of an open house of Soul Garden, if you will, and I'll be there to talk it up with you. Then on Saturday, it's actually a very cloudy day, especially for the lions. Uh, the day is heavily Neptune rule, which means psychic awareness rules a day, our psychic self. So we're very in tune with the other side, which means we're not in tune with the road. We're not in tune with where we're going. The moon in Pisces and crossing Neptune and Chiron pulls you emotionally into a very tender, vulnerable space with boundaries. So you're going to be very boundary sensitive on Saturday. But that sensitivity, I think, is to help you navigate to the right place within yourself when it comes to faith. So the universe is trying to delicately pick you up and put you down. If you're having huge anxiety, you're holding on to the side of the pool and resisting. Now the Sun-Neptune issue is helping you really understand where is the inner faith, what weeds need to go, and emotionally, what needs to be the status quo. Emotionally, where do you need to be when you walk out the door emotionally, every day, regardless of what you want to point fingers at in the world? That's the question to answer on Saturday in meditation, in meditation, in anything. Just do it. Then Sunday, perfect wrap up in a great storytelling reality TV way. Saturn rules the day, it's time to decide. So it's time to really commit. What are we committing to on Sunday? We're committing to where we think inner faith will come. It'll come from chanting every day, it'll come from f facing my weeds, it'll come from journaling. Okay, that's where faith's gonna come from. Let's go for it. Or emotional tranquility, where will that come from? Well, if I get the meditation time, okay, fine. But the universe is calling for a decision about where you believe you need to go as far as that inner territory of faith. In chapter three, the next uh, episode, we're gonna dive into making that happen, making that manifest, seeing if it works, how does it feel, etc. So this is a time to decide and therefore decide what's not working for you. The moon uh, is still in Pisces on Sunday, so as you're making this commitment, you're still very boundary sensitive, but less vulnerable than Saturday if that was a mess for you. Okay, Your Royal Majesty, that's all I got for this seven-day forecast. I hope to see you come and unite in the light. Come on down, join the club, come to Friday. If not, I'll see you back here wherever you are in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.